Hello students, presenting to you quantum statistics here. Please subscribe to the channel before beginning with lecture series for quantum statistics. So let us begin. Earlier, what all topics we will cover here will be the need for statistics to change from the usual classical to quantum. The two famous quantum uh, statistics were the Bose-Einstein, the Fermi-Dirac, their comparisons, fermions, bosons, applications of the statistics and comparison of the three. So why do we need to go ahead with quantum statistics? Quantum statistics or mechanics is a necessary tool which is used to understand the electrical phenomena on microscopic level, which will finally lead to microelectronics. Micro is smaller than the microscopic. So in quantum statistics, the two important categories under which it is divided are the Bose-Einstein distribution, which is describing the statistical behavior on the basis of integer spin particles, that is the bosons at low temperature, bosons can behave very differently than fermions and the quantum statistics of highly unstable or even confined particles such as quarks and gluons play an essential role in predicting and understanding the result of scattering experiments, which classical failed to explain. So what was the importance of statistical mechanics? This is a very famous common question asked in almost all uh, university level papers, usually it is of five marks. The general answer for this is that the classical statistics, which is arising because of the Maxwell-Boltzmann, which explained the energy and velocity distribution of the molecules of an ideal gas, but it has failed to explain the observed energy distribution of electrons in the so-called electron gas and that of photons in the photon gas. So, the MB distribution has two major drawbacks. First, the particles have been assumed to be distinguishable, but electrons and other elementary particles are indistinguishable. Then, any number of particles was allowed to occupy the same quantum state, which is contradicting the Pauli's exclusion principle. So the major drawbacks led to the birth of quantum statistics under which uh, we study the Bose-Einstein and the Fermi-Dirac statistics. But we begin first with Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics. So how do we really study quantum statistics? First, we should understand that a distribution function, we depict it by Fe, is the probability. That means how much possibility that a particle is in a particular energy state. So you need to know a bit about the basics of statistics before beginning to understand Maxwell, Bose-Einstein and Fermi-Dirac statistics. So the distribution function is generalization of the ideas of discrete probability. Probability in statistics is possible events upon total number of events. So the three distinct different distributions which we are going to study will be based on the concepts of statistics. So according to quantum statistical mechanics, particles with half or odd integer spin, such as electron and positron, are going to follow the Fermi statistics and particles with even integer spin, such as photon and phonon, will follow the Bose-Einstein statistics. Classical statistics successfully explain many observed phenomena like temperature, pressure, energy, etc. But classical has failed to explain black body radiation, specific heat at low temperature, etc. So 
the basic formula we begin with before understanding statistics is probability. That means how many cases or events are occurring compared to the total number of cases. Then phase space is basically in classical mechanics. The complete state of a particle is given by three components, the X, Y, Z. But phase space of a particle will be considering of six dimensional space. The three axes for momentum, Px, Py, Pz, and the three for position, X, Y, Z. So for n particle system, the phase space is going to have six n dimensions, six for each particle and a single point in the phase space. Microstate and macrostates, these are just the basics of statistics we are telling you before or we begin with MB, FD, and BE. Micro is defined as the arrangement of each molecule in the system at a single instant. Macro is defined as the pro microscopic property of the system, such as temperature, pressure, volume, etc. For each macro state, there are many micro states which result in the same macro state. Okay, now micro and macro, though it has not been asked many times, but you should be knowing that micro state is a term that describes the microscopic properties of a thermodynamic system. Macro state is a term that describes the macroscopic properties like micro changes in quantum state, macro temperature, pressure, volume, density changes, etc. Okay, now in all the three derivations which we will do, the Bose-Einstein, the Fermi-Dirac and the Maxwell-Boltzmann, we will be taking into consideration two constraints when we derive the formula for distribution law. The first constraint is like a restriction. So while considering the distribution of molecules in phase space, we consider certain constraints or restrictions. So first is total of Ni equal to constant. That means total number of particles we will consider constant. Secondly, Ni epsilon I equal to constant. That is the total energy of the system also we will consider as constant. Here, Ni is the number of molecules in the ith level and epsilon I is the energy of each molecule in the ith cell. Accessible states are consistent with the given set of constraints. Now, thermodynamic probability. That means that if we have n phase points and the total number of permutations is factorial n. And if n1 is in phase cell 1, n2 in phase cell 2, etc., then the thermodynamic probability is given by total factorial capital N divided by n1 factorial, n2 factorial, n3 factorial, etc. Now, this question is asked a lot. What are the fundamental postulates of statistical mechanics? You should be knowing this question. It is an important question. First, any gas may be considered to be composed of molecules that are in motion and behave like very small size elast elastic spheres. All the cells in phase space are of equal size. All accessible microstates corresponding to possible macrostates are equally probable. Total number of molecules is constant and total energy of the system is constant. We need to understand these constraints. Okay, now we begin. Maxwell Boltzmann. The common question asked here is that obtain the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function or write a short note on Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law, or what was the drawbacks of Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, or what led to the origin of quantum statistics. So Maxwell-Boltzmann comparatively compares to the classical part. Let us begin. Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is again 
a probability distribution. That means we are just considering the probable part, probability distribution that shows how the speeds of particle in a gas at certain temperature are getting spread out. It is basically the key in statistical mechanics that helps explain how system of particles are behaving at the molecular level. Now, let us begin to derive an expression for the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law. The derivation of this exp expression is asked in long questions and it is important. We begin by saying that let N1, N2, N3, etc. till Ni be the number of gas molecules in cell 1, cell 2, etc. And let the total number of molecules be constant. The constraint which we right now studied, that is capital N equal to N1, N2, etc. till Ni be constant. Total energy capital E equal to N1 epsilon 1 plus N2 epsilon 2, etc. be constant. Now, when this gas will be in thermal equilibrium, its thermodynamical property is going to be constant. That means del of log sigma equal to zero from the definition of thermodynamic probability, which we just studied right now. That means factorial N upon N1 factorial, N2 factorial, and N3 factorial is going to be a constant. So we will take log on both sides. After taking log, since n is very large, we are going to use the Stirling's formula, which states that log of factorial n is equal to n log n minus n. So now the expression becomes log sigma equal to n log n minus capital N. Again, after this, the terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then what we do is we differentiate them and n the constraint we have taken as a constant. So their differential is going to be 0. Also, the d by dx of log x is 1 upon x. Hence, this expression reduces to on differentiating and taking the constraint of total N and total energy as constant. All these equations will now be represented mathematically by one equation. So we will multiply the first equation by alpha, the second by beta, add the resultant, rearrange the terms, and we get log N1 plus alpha plus beta epsilon 1 equal to 0. Similarly, log N2 plus alpha plus beta epsilon 2 equal to 0. And these will vanish to 0 for any value of i. Therefore, N1 is equal to e to the power of minus alpha plus beta epsilon i. This equation gives the number of molecules in each cell as a function of energy associated with each particle in the cell. And this function is very important. We can see that this equation is giving us the distribution of molecules over the various energy states of the most probable configuration. And it is known as Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. At times, they have also asked to write a short note on this distribution exp uh, expression. As we can see, it is dependent on exponential factor. So the uh, probability that a particle will have energy E will be equal to 1 upon either you can write it in terms of normalization constant A into e to the power of capital E divided by kT, where k is Boltzmann constant, T is absolute temperature. And the graph, if we plot between energy and average density, will come out in the form of exponential decay. But this Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics had certain limitations. That is, it is valid only in the classical limit, does not give correctly the entropy of an ideal gas. Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics is applied to electron gas in metals, but several discrepancies appear there 
also it fails to explain photoelectric effect, black body radiation, etc. So these drawbacks of uh, classical statistics were overcome by the quantum statistics in Fermi Dirac and Bose Einstein. So the quantum statistics was born. Quickly, let us see what did we study today. We studied that classical statistics due to Maxwell Boltzmann failed to explain the observed energy distribution of electrons in the so-called electron gas and photons in the photon gas. Thermodynamic probability is equal to capital N factorial divided by N1 factorial, N2 factorial, N3 factorial. Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is the classical distribution function for distribution of an amount of energy between ideal but distinguishable particles. The Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution function is given by Ni is equal to Gi upon E to the power of alpha plus beta epsilon I. The two Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics fails to explain photoelectric effect and black body radiation. Two constraints we need to consider are total number of particles should be constant and total energy should be a constant. So this is quantum statistics where de departs from the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, which is used to describe distinguishable particles like those of an ideal gas. Next lecture, Fermi-Dirac and Bose-Einstein. Thank you.